Greetings ladies and mental gents and welcome to today's reddit quickie video taken from the HFY subreddit called Lighting the Torch written by Cherubale1 A link to the original will be down below and as always I hope that you enjoy The ambassador of the human civilization will speak now On the call of these words a human walked up to the speaker's podium of the Hall of Representatives a thousand eyes were whatever biological equivalent that many of the different species had, were on him from the other ambassadors on seats that arched upwards in many rows. Representative Hognathos was amongst them. The civilization spoke for his late member, and he was only the third one after the ambassador that had handled the initiation into the Commonwealth, so he knew exactly how this would play out. And he would also know that hundreds of billions of beings were watching the live transmission from thousands of planets across the Commonwealth, for it was the very first official appearance of the new species. The aged human looked tired and disheveled, seemingly badly prepared for the task of speaking on behalf of his species. The only thing not making him appear disrespectful was that he actually had an ambassador's cloth draped over his shoulders, the long, handsome piece barely adorned with a few additional lines for a colorful yarn. Honored ambassadors, representatives of all species in the galactic commonwealth. He spoke a greeting in a clear, ringing voice. Surprisingly, he used the common language. Had the humans been this fast to learn it? It had caused a low murmur amongst the other ambassadors, but then quickly died down, then the human continued. My name is Valentiva Fedorovna, and I am the chosen representative of all the living in the human civilization. I am sorry that the proper delegation was unable to appear on the short notice that was given. We did give up expecting an invitation many cycles ago. As the civil servant in closest proximity, I am now speaking in their stead, though I certainly do not bring the soft diplomatic touch of my colleagues. The obvious rudeness of the human caused the number of the present beings to scoff, blow, or cough. This was not the way that these things should go. He should have been begging for membership. It also seemed that the dossier on the humans had been quite wrong. It stated that this species was only known since very recently. Meanwhile, the human just went on, ignoring any signs of protest. Thirty cycles ago, we made first contact with Neomar people. They had once been, as you are aware, a member of species of your commonwealth until they got exiled from their own planet and barred from the troubled nodes. A flotilla of their refugee ships had made its way across the stars with sublight engines in search of a new home. The only one to arrive had carried fifteen million beings. I am certain that you know how life forms handle cosmic radiation over longer than one generation. I... I am certain that I do not have to tell you of the state that they were in. We were unable to save half of them, but the rest were given a home on our planet. They told us about the way the conflicts were handled in the Galactic Commonwealth. They told us about the so-called Deathless Wars, and they told us what happened to the ones subjugated by the victors. We tried to contact you then, honored ambassadors. In lieu of hearing your side, we took what we learned for the truth. No, then I am speaking for the new Omar, too. Over the last part, there were quite a loud cries of protest. One ambassador especially was calling for the human speaker to be cut off. Harknathos identified him as a member of the people that had instigated the conflict against the new Omar. Of course, there had been rules and proceedings, and the humans still had time, so order was called and the noise died down again. But thirty cycles? So long had the humans been known already, and they did not get to speak until now. The last refugee ship had carried something exceptionally precious with it besides the many lives. The knowledge to create our hyperspace connection node. Two cycles later, we had been successful in creating a stable one. I know that you are aware of its limitations, but we were not. We had tried to contact you many times then, honored ambassadors. And, with our guidance, we had to revert to experimentation. In the process, we lost many ships, and a number of lives only to learn that it is impossible to establish a connection to any other node from just one side. 
This cut-off form of travel seemed deliberate, and together with the communication silence, it gave us the impression that the honored ambassadors were trying to isolate us. Seeing that our node could only serve as an endpoint, we transmitted an open invitation to refugees of Neomar and anyone else displaced from their homes. More calls for order. These accusations were very serious and a number of ambassadors seemed to not want to wait for their turn to speak. It seemed impossible though, the pre-FTR species just built a feasible connection into the hyperspace network of the Commonwealth from merely theoretical second-hand knowledge. One thing was for sure, that dossier about them was worthless. Harknathos had probably had a large number of other ambassadors had been left in the dark about how the recent history of the species. It was also obvious that the humans were crazy. To broadly call for anyone just to come to the undeveloped world spelled suicide. We understand the number of species that were robbed of their planets or enslaved on it, and we saw a large influx of arrivals. By then we had stopped asking you for anything on it, ambassadors, though we still needed help in ensuring order and safety, so we were actually lucky that the first larger group to show up was a fleet of Jaktari pirates. We welcomed them and offered them a home. They merely wanted us to spare their children from spending a childhood and life within the confines of a spaceship. And in turn, they patrolled the hyperspace node promising to protect anyone coming with peaceful intentions. I am certain you learned the force of their railguns, honored ambassadors, when you sent one spy drone after another. Just now, all the Jaktari too found a home with us, and I am now speaking for them. The noise had gotten ridiculous. Even the call for order had not been enough to silence them. The human just spoke on, raising his ringing voice over the commotion. Working with the people that followed our invitation, we colonized another planet and two moons in our own solar system, before we made landfall in the two neighboring ones. These hyperspace nodes were able to connect to one near our home planet and still had new ships arriving every day. We saw more pirates too, most of them not as benevolent as the Jaktari, and some of them only pretending to be pirates. We observed those and the constant spy drones to be only sort of communication from the Commonwealth until the invitation to this very event, which I can only assume had to be an error. I want you to understand, honored ambassadors, that I am speaking for 65 billion beings across Earth, Mars, Titan, Europa, Bora, and Latalia. I am speaking for 15 species that are now our equals in the human civilization. I am not here to ask for membership to your commonwealth. I am not here to ask for anything at all. I am merely here to state our invitation to every sentient being in the galaxy. Across the chaos that unfolded through the hall of representatives boomed the human voices. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shores. Send these, the homeless, the tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. And that, my friends, is the end of this Reddit quickie. I hope that you enjoyed. If you'd like to support this channel, there are numerous ways to do so, listed in the description down below. The easiest and best way would be to share this video and my channel as much as possible. I'll see you all in the next video and I hope that you have a good one until then. Cheers.